Rob Vargas. Josh. Are you a robot? I don't think I am. No, I don't think you are either, although, you know, some days. So our cover story this week is about fake web traffic. And it's, a, it's been the scourge of the internet for a while. We did a very deep investigation, a really terrific bit of reporting and writing about the fact that roughly $6 billion a year spent by advertisers is clicked on and viewed by robots. Yeah. It's an amazing piece. It also goes right to the heart of this moment we're having around internet advertising, which is that for all of our ability to target people, it really only works if there are people being targeted, not robots. That's where we got our cover idea from, and then it's pretty simple. Yeah, we threw around a couple of ideas on how to approach this. You know, we were thinking maybe robots, but then decided to try something a little more direct, which is pretty much showing that the fact that these bots just exist uh, in servers that could be sitting in someone's basement. So we started with like a very rough sketch of the idea, then went to a photographer to you know actually shoot it. Uh, he came back with this great photo in this cr very creepy looking basement. We covered the server in stickers and made it seem like it was a fan of all these companies that have actually been losing tons of money. And in the end, we sort of split the headline up um, into an animated section, which was attention to advertisers, and then below in very kind of straight type uh, media audience with a short deck. And we thought it worked pretty well. We've got a ton of stuff this week that is on the news, including opening remarks about VW, which really dives deep into the German culture and the fact that, you know, VW is a company almost apart from all other companies in that it has government shareholders as well as regular shareholders and looks at how this kind of thing, how the emission scandal can actually come about. It's a really smart piece done in a really tight deadline by Brendan Greeley, who is our resident Teutonic uh, master. Um, we also have a really, I think, pretty interesting piece about the smartest, greenest building in the world, which is the Deloitte headquarters in Europe. And basically, this building anticipates everything a, a, an employee could do. Yeah, I mean, you can control everything by app. You can control the temperature in your individual workstations, which is something that would be really nice here. Um, oh, you, you need a little chilly sometimes, right? Yeah. Yes, your delicate snowflake. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, it's the greenest building in the world. Um, it uses solar power, it recycles water. Yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. So I guess that's it for this week. I mean, is there anything else you really loved? Did you love the makeup story, Rob? I haven't read that one yet. Right after this. Sure. <laughs>